Hey guys, my name is Blake and I'm going to show you today why cancer research and cancer treatment, especially chemotherapy, is just an absolute joke and you should never ever donate a, a single cent to a cancer research ever again and this would just absolutely make you livid with anger about how big pharma and the government's just absolutely screwing us over and they don't care about us and uh, all they want is money so look, well let's get started so look I typed in Google how much money is donated to cancer by year and so look it says the National Cancer Institute totaled 6.4 billion dollars per year per year so this is the amount for research in just breast cancer and then if you go down here look see it says the National Cancer Institute spent some 90 billion dollars on research okay it's like they spend all this money they had they got you know, six billion dollars every single year that they receive in funding, and they can't find, uh, you know, cures for this disease. So look, let's go to chemotherapy. So I didn't know that there were different types of chemotherapy depending on the type of cancer you had. So see, look, this is on Wikipedia, and see, you got different types of cancer, and then the different types of chemotherapy for them. So let's let's look at it, and I'll show you why you should be upset. Look at this. It was approved for medical use in 1959. Okay, let's go back. Go to another one. Methotrexate. Let's see. Mm, first made in 1947. Hmm. Sometimes you can see when it was approved by the FDA. Look at these dates in the 50s again. Let's go to another one. Oh, look at that. Patented in 1956, came into medical use in 1962. Basically, what I want to get into all this is that most of these treatments, these chemotherapy treatments, are 50, 60, 70 years old. So you're telling me that the government and big pharma spend hundreds of millions to billions of dollars of research every single year for drug treatments, and they can't find anything better than chemotherapy that just poisons people? That's what I think it's rigged straight up. I mean, I, I think that they have the cures for these for a lot of modern diseases and they're just withholding them because a cured patient is a lost customer. So look at this, another chemotherapy treatment, 1994. So some of the newest stuff that I found is, what, 30 years old? Almost 30 years old? Hodgkin's lymphoma. Let's look at this one. Oh, look at that. Approved for medical use in 95. So once again, almost 30 years old. Uh, did we do this one? Yes. Did we do this one? Yes. You know, let's go to some that I haven't clicked on already. See, I'm not messing with y'all. Don't see a date there. That's okay. Let's go to another one. Oh, look at that. First isolated, 1961. Hmm, another one, 1969. I mean, the list just goes on and on, guys. 1955. I mean, if this just doesn't show you that everything that we're told is just an absolute joke, 1983, then I don't know what will, you know? And that's the thing. You don't even have to, to search that hard. This just took me a couple minutes just looking it up, you know, on Wikipedia, a couple Google searches. Look at that, 19 set, late, late 70s. So what? 43 years old? I mean, this is a joke. Scroll down. Hmm, first trial, 1980. 40-something years old. Go to another one. Proof for medical use in 1998. Wow, the newest chemotherapy treatment that we can find so far is still, what, 25 years old? 1996, oh, patented in 76, so it was discovered, you know, 50 plus years ago. I mean, guys, just, I don't know what to say. This this is just infuri infuriating. And anyways, don't believe what they tell you. You know, it's all, it's all a lie. All they care about is themselves and money and power. Don't believe anything that the government says or Big Pharma says. It's all a lie, unfortunately, as sad as it is to say. But anyways, uh, please spread, spread the message. You know, the only way things are going to change is, this, is if we, the people, get really, really peed off and, and do something about it. And uh, 
please subscribe and like the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And leave a comment if you know something else that I don't know. You know, if you have y'all had an experience with you know, with their family members that went really, really bad. I said both my grandparents, they had prostate cancer and they both survived. And I'm not saying that, that this chemotherapy ha doesn't save lives, but kind of the point of the video I wanted to make is there's got to be something better that exists, you know, besides just poisoning these people to death. It's terrible. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Take care.